Hello everyone, I'm James Chu from Teamstar. Today I will show you some uh, technical training about the, how to configure our uh, Teamstar analog gateway with uh, FreePBX. Actually, FreePBX is a very popular uh, open source project in the world, and a lot of end users to use the FreePBX to develop own PBS or set up own PBS phone systems and so on. Our Teamstar gateway can support the kind of the PSD interface so if you customer want to install free PBS then you can use our this dot gateway this dot gateway to make an incoming call and going call through the FXO or FXS okay so in the next sessions I will give you how to configure our uh, this analog gateway with uh, free PBS and give some tips how to debug the systems and so on uh, start the uh, talk about the how to in install the free PBS. Okay, here I got the the, the virtual machine is a Promix Promox. Here it, Promox is open source the firmware. Of course, you also can use some other uh, virtual machine or firmware to install it. Okay, and uh, I installed the free PBS here. I installed free PBS the. Um, uh, for testing purpose, just the uh, FreePBS uh, 16, and you can download from Office website and install the ISO image file. It's very easy to install it. Okay. After that, you access the website at GUI. Here, I, I got the. You can see here, I create the few extension for testing purpose. Okay, I got the 100, and uh, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And uh, I will use uh, some uh, sick phone or soft phone to test that. Okay, this is a soft phone. I use that. It's uh, 100 already. I rest already. And uh, of course, I have to use our analog TV. Here we can see that the, I use the hybrid model. It's for FX and for FX also. Here we can see the all the system information already. And uh, since I rest already, so we can use the, there are a port here. Uh, four port for the FXS, another four port for FXO, and uh, I also use the uh, another stick phone, this plastic phone for the testing purpose. The register ready in the phone. You can see I have a register ready, and uh, that's all. And uh, let's uh, start uh, how to config uh, free PBS first. Uh, okay, when you log in the system initially, you have to create the extensions. So you go to the applications, go to some menu extensions, like that, create the uh, kind of zip extension here. Of course, you also can use the new, create the new uh, new extension and uh, and the uh, chain PG shape and so on. So create the phone, create the extension and uh, and all the necessary. There may be the password and so on. So, so just to click submit and the reply. That's all. And uh, here I create the accessing already. After that, and then the very important part is uh, you have to create the zip trunk. Okay, you have to create the zip trunk register with the uh, PBS. Then go to the FXO FXS and go here. Go to connectivity. And uh, since I have the zip um, one zip trunk already. I name it uh, 101 and uh, that's a normal and uh, here please make sure you have to consider uh, make attention to here and uh, since I uh, uh, authentication I choose the outbound and the registration I should receive since the uh, our analog uh, gateway have to register to our gateway here and uh, of course, I have to configure here. Make sure you check the match inbound the authentication. Otherwise, you can your your inbound will maybe fail. Uh, please make sure you select here. Then default by default, I think you you can check. It's quite uh, different. Okay, yeah, if you use other uh, method, you have to uh, change here. Otherwise, your call incoming call will fail. Why? Because I why I use the registration model here because the you know. Uh, our FXO FAS is a uh, hybrid model, so all shared one IP. So this device only one IP, and uh, you have to use the FXS FXO to make it together. Uh, because the uh, from the uh, free PBS side, then consider the, the the analog device as a combine as a one. So you have to separate and uh, make sure the differentiate. Okay. Otherwise, you cannot consider. Uh, otherwise, cannot register or make a call. Maybe to fail. So, all the 
this is a talk set up ready and uh, of course you have to go to the set up the incoming call outgoing call here I got the incoming call I set them uh, just to leave the uh, by default and after that I let the maybe the call then routing to 100 is uh, I, I will test that uh, may I make incoming call the call review for what to 100 test and okay and uh, you also have to go to the outbound call of course sending here and I also leave it and uh, maybe outgoing call name it outgoing call after that you have to check okay you have to check the uh, truck here I since I create the 101 already so you select there got the uh, 101 available after that please make sure you have to menu make outgoing call you have to end the uh, dial pattern here because here I just uh, gave the by default the, the, the dial pattern uh, X and dot so any number can make outgoing call I don't ma uh, match any numbers okay of course you also can end the prefix or uh, prepend uh, okay and then you, you maybe have to change so this is the um, uh, free PBX site I set down everything ready and uh, other things you have to consider this firewall okay make sure you open your firewall or close your firewall but make sure you know the what's going on okay and uh, here I I, I enabled a firewall already and uh, since it's uh, easy to configure the uh, our network and service if you want to see more about the more uh, status or service and so on you can go here it's a very flexible very powerful uh, firewall tools of course you also can flag the SSH or enable disable maybe web GUI uh, protocol or maybe things like uh, for example you allow the outside people to, to log in your system use the SIP protocol you can do that of course you also can reject that and uh, of course if you need the WebRTC you want to, you have to enable that and uh, if you use the uh, uh, security and files uh, encrypt your files you also can enable or disable it of course you sometimes you use the API to, to develop your own applications you also have to you know the, the, uh, enable that it's quite useful and quite powerful to, to do that it's uh, firewall also got the, some advanced features here uh, of course you, you unless you know the uh, what's going on if you configure that otherwise don't touch that okay and uh, here we got the port if you want to change the port or enable or disable port also can it's a prefix to pre-config the file if you can can if you want to do that also no problem at all and uh, here got the advanced uh, features you want to disable enable all the things it's very flexible very powerful but be careful if you need to set up that you have to know the what's going on what you want to do okay and uh, so that's a free PBX site set up ready and uh, we go to the our analog device side okay uh, when you log in system I think the first things you have to finish on the IP address SIP server IP address here you go to the SIP server and uh, finish the address here is the uh, uh, PBX address here and the enable that make sure it's a uh, heartbeat or disable uh, you have also check the SIP port make sure it's the uh, same as the uh, free PBX setup okay after that you configure your uh, port because since uh, I use the first port first four port for the FXS so you have to enter the display name username and password and so on so the username password 101 is is from the uh, this one okay from this one okay and the password also from here the secret you have to fill in here okay I think the, the, the FXS considered as a SIP extension and uh, after that you also can use the this one is for FXO registration okay so you have to fill in the, the account all the stuff here and uh, after that you have to configure your call routings okay here we got the IP to tell call routing IP to tell call routing means uh, from SIP free PBS or SIP server make all in call go to the, the, the port with you which port you want to go to okay here I just uh, for example I use the port 4 and uh, for the PSD FXO interface 
So the uh, the PBS then then this all the call from PBS or from SIP server will forward to port four. Of course, you can can configure any port here if you want to uh, route in there. Make sure you know what is going on. And uh, this is a uh, all going call actually IP to tail. Okay. And the other one is uh, uh, tail to IP. Tail to IP means like. Um, any outside people want to make incoming call, go to for example here. I set up the port four, and from port four I will forward to SIP server. Please make sure you understand that. Okay, the SIP server here is a free PBS, so it's considered as a uh, an incoming call. So this is uh, all the stuff done already. Then uh, we will test but before test, I, I think that you have to go to the maybe check properly, make sure everything's done already. We can see here our FXS is registered and FXO. And here I use the port four is also registered. And uh, you, you can go to the here go to the S three CLI. You also can check all the PJ shape endpoints are available and is correct and. Uh, we can see it AOR is all available. AOR is available also. And uh how can that is also available. Okay, you can see here it also available since we then it means that uh, everything's done already. And we can we can make a call first, then make a test. Okay, and uh, let's I talk call about a uh, top free number. Let's what's going on here. All going call done already, and you. <laughs> then I make a uh, telecom service call. It's a. Uh, Pick up already and play the IVR back to me. Okay, and uh, I can call to the 101, which is a sensing with FSS. Let's uh, make a call. Hello, hello, testing, 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 testing. Hello, testing. Okay, and uh, after that, I am making coming call. See what 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 will happen. Hello, hello, hello. Testing, 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 testing. Yes, it works. Good, good, black, perfect. Okay. So everything is okay and uh, look like uh, all the stuff, all steps is perfect. Very, very good. Oh. Let me talk about the. Uh, we can see the CDR already and the call is done already. We received everything, received the report already from the IVR, uh, from the CDR, from the DINSTAR analog baby, okay? And uh, of course, if you want to see the, all the CDR report, you also can check from the uh, PBX. You see the uh, CDR is out, and uh, uh, calling number, calling number, calling number, all the answer or not answer, and so all status is here already. So this is. Uh, this is all the record already. Okay, and uh, if you have any questions, consider, for example, like to figure out our phones uh, or connect to our PBS or connect to the analog phone or configure the device. You can always contact us. Okay, and uh, we'll give you a very sufficient support. And this is address, this is email, it's a telephone number, and so on. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.